guys uh, today I am going to show you how to customize your repository uh, in such a way that you can have a very efficient hands-on session I'm going to design my hands-on session for tomorrow I'm uh, going to design the starter files for them I will be recording the entire process and I will not be editing this video because definitely I don't have the time to do that see the entire process like see the entire process I'm doing this for the first time so there will be jerks understand that I'm doing this for the first time I picked a really simple project so it will be easy to internalize the steps and the tips tricks secret sauce whatever you can call it uh, that I use to make this hands-on session as good an experience for the audience as it can be if you have some suggestions there are always YouTube comments discussion ways to contact me and I would love to evolve on this process and evolve it into something that you know comes out as like an amazing experience to the audience because ultimately with our hands-on sessions we need to empower the audience with some new knowledge the point is not to uh, have a typing race in which you're typing something they're typing something like I personally feel that it uh, removes the amount of time that could have otherwise been used into understanding uh, the concepts behind them let's begin like uh, we are going to do one very simple session on strategy pattern it's a design pattern in Java it has been a while since I've written any Java code so bear with me so what is the first step whenever you design a session that I have to give a two hour long session tomorrow uh, so what is the first step that we take first step is to kind of script it all out internalize what we're going to do actually the first step is to experience the same thing yourself first since we are also learners we are not teachers it's not a teacher student relationship it's a senior junior relationship so first step is actually going through the content yourself learning what the thing is about going deeper into the concepts understanding it through and through asking questions from other seniors that you have uh, resources that you have Twitter Stack Overflow LinkedIn being really clear about the topic once you've really mastered the topic you can uh, hold like take a hands-on session that will be an amazing experience for others because they will be empowered by your experience your experience will comfort them wherever they get stuck with that in mind uh, I'll assume that like I'll start from the point that I have experienced the thing that I am going to teach now I'll try to internalize that what what was the way in which the book that I read I had first design patterns I, I'll just repeat the first chapter of that exact book in the exact sequence in which it taught me because I found that sequence really eye-opening <coughs> so I don't really have to script it I just have to internalize the script that the head first guys uh, had written in the process of writing the book so this is how the script goes like uh, first we show them that like there's a starter app it's a story like you are using a simu duck app 
you are building it and you have to add a new feature and then you try adding that new feature simply by inheritance that fails then you try adding it via interfaces not directly inheriting everything that is in a duck class I'll show you what the app is about really soon that is like that does not fail but that throws all of the benefit that you get from inheritance code reuse that is taught to us at college uh, out of the window now you have to go in and implement each and every function again and again again and again <coughs> and then finally we come to the solution which is the strategy pattern so it's kind of like a two level hierarchy that we can achieve what I'm trying to achieve is uh, I'll make a branch for each solution and then have a you know, what do I call it stepwise that how do I explore this solution like we have the first solution we're exploring it we're going on stepwise we added that method in the super class then we realized something the next step whatever it was then we uh, go so we have this entire thing separated into units and chapters just like our books used to be uh, in this talk um, around two to three hours I guess if we need that much time because I free balled it and it took three hours to explain to eight people what this was about so let's see uh, how long the session is but this video is going to be long because now I'll just do my work and I'll do a live commentary of what I am doing and why I am doing it switching scenes uh, now we have our <coughs> IntelliJ idea starting up hmm. sorry I just downloaded this <coughs> now uh, the reason why we are doing this in IntelliJ IDEA and not Android Studio is because Android Studio does not give you the option for creating a Java project from command line app and like you go into create new Java project you don't add any frameworks you create a project from template which is a command line app uh, we will call this project sim u tuck <sighs> let's leave the other things as default um, I'm not really interested in changing any of this because I'll be deleting this once I've uploaded it to my github repository okay let's finish this So what we'll do in the first part is quickly reach the starter point like the point from which you want this to start. So 
the point at which it starts is the original programmers of the Simudux software they used a class based hierarchy so we must have a duck class which will have like three methods or four I know uh, we will definitely have a display method okay uh, before we do this I have another quick tip up my sleeve go into settings go into key map and search for toggle presentation mode add a keyboard shortcut and I found this uh, helpful like I prefer <coughs> control shift Q as a good option for presentation mode and there's another mode distraction free mode control shift X actually I like control shift Q for uh, distraction free mode and control shift X for presentation because X is closer to my fingers and I'll be toggling between presentation mode and normal mode more often than I'll be in distraction free mode so toggle presentation mode add keyboard shortcut control shift X toggle distraction free mode add keyboard shortcut control shift Q now what will this do uh, this will allow me to type like this and now as you can see definitely that even in your video it's a much better thing to see than the previous one so huh. I am a duck hello I am a duck and now duck can swim and duck can quack I am a duck and I am swimming I am a duck and quack, 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 quack. So we have these three methods display, swim, quack. There's a public class duck, simple as that. Now we go into the folder structure once again and we have like many ducks many species of ducks duck simulator is a game in which we have many species of ducks moving around on the screen so what's the next step we need to implement all the species of ducks so we have a <coughs> mallard duck we have a redhead duck we have a rubber duck we have a what else do we have we have a mallard duck we have a redhead duck we have a rubber duck and we have a wooden duck 
Now all of these ducts extend the duct class. Now all of these ducts, mallard, redhead, rubber, wooden, they extend the duct class. Now we will have a new mallard duct. We have a we have a and we have a wooden duck. So <coughs> we have these four ducks which extend the duck class. So there is an is a relationship between all of these ducks and the duck class. Red head duck is a duck, wooden duck is a duck, rubber duck is a duck. So it will swim let me increase the font size a bit Let's editor font it seems a bit off like 15 is ok like I'm comfortable at 15 <coughs> actually if you uh, one quick installation of a font source code pro fonts I can really like this uh, font when I'm coding <coughs> and just download this download all the fonts So now we'll just uh, restart the ID once again to reload all the fonts that have been installed and we'll just change the font in the editor. See picking and right font the right font size uh, is important because once you start to code for 10 20 hours <coughs> you'll see that your eyes will be more comfortable in some fonts than others I like the source code pro font I like to code at 15 I hope source code pro has been here. Right. Okay. Mm, much better. But uh, I think I can increase the size of it. Uh, 
I'll go with 16 or 17. Yes, 17 is good. Uh, enabling font ligatures, what it does now. There are no font ligatures in the source code pro font. Okay. Hmm. Next step. So there is this simulator app which has uh, mallard ducks, redhead ducks, rubber ducks, wooden ducks and they are all swimming and squacking ok let's remove wooden duck for now And now let's run this app. <coughs> so I'm a duck, I'm swimming. I'm a duck and quack 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 quack. I'm a duck and I'm swimming. So what happens is we have. Do we have any linting? Okay, it was an error. <coughs> Never mind. So we have our initial uh, Simu Duck app. Okay, so this is the starting point from where we will start this is where the story begins this much will have already been written inside the code what's happening is there is a duck class there are three duck classes like duck super class three duck classes mallard duck redhead duck rubber duck all of them extend duck in the app they are swimming quacking swimming because ducks quack and ducks swim okay now this is a point where we make our first commit commit VCS import into version control share project on github or <coughs> if you are cool with using terminal commands get in it as, a, as soon as you uh, typed get in it you will see that these two options like from here to here this toolbar okay revert show history commit and update project this toolbar came up we'll commit we'll create our first commit we'll version all these files and we'll make a commit message some files contain okay we'll not uh, worry about uh, changing access right now we'll just commit because access code is not what we're worrying about over here so we'll just commit this also is our starter branch okay this is our starter branch this is where we begin 
to code. What is the next step? We are currently on the master branch, right? We are currently on the master branch. We need to create a new branch which is called a starter branch, the branch from which we begin to code. So let's check that out. How to check that out? So there is a terminal command or we can do it like this get new branch we will call it starter branch no wait zero one sim u tuck begins or prologue see the element of storytelling is really important what's a prologue prologue is before the story so we check this out okay now the challenge that I'm facing is that I have to get this branch into a state which I want to find it in when people start to code so how do I do that I'll start making commits into this branch how to do that well that's simple start coding so let's do it so the story goes like this <coughs> the company is facing competition it's facing tremendous pressure from the competition and it wants to come up with innovation till now ducks can swim ducks can quack so the management decides that we are adding two things first we will add a wooden duck and then we will also add a new method now the ducks have to fly ducks were swimming ducks were quacking now the ducks need to fly that's a new feature so we have to implement one new form of duck and we have to implement one new feature so let's uh, first forget about flying let's uh, try to implement <coughs> the wooden duck so we have a new java class okay and since this is the first step that we are doing to do 0 1 implement a wooden duck and what we will do is wooden duck extends <coughs> duck but do wooden ducks squeak no wooden ducks will never make any noise so what's happening is that see the power of inheritance is we can inherit only what we want so, so we go into the wooden duck and uh, what we do is we override so to override we press control plus O
when we press control plus O we see that we have the list of all the public methods that we can override and we also see the origin of those methods like the hash code equals to clone etc comes from object object is a uh, the base class of everything in Java so let's not go into that let's stick to duck we have display swim quack so wh what behavior do we need to change for the wooden duck quack definitely and we don't want the functionality of duck so we will delete super dot quack and then we will write <coughs> I am a wooden duck so no quack okay I don't quack I'm a wooden duck so we have implemented the wooden duck what is the step 2 step 2 is checking the wooden duck like go to main.java <coughs> creating a new wooden duck like let's do it below this so that it comes under one to do to do zero two did we use zero one over here yeah make the wooden duck wooden duck wooden duck equals new <coughs> wooden duck wooden duck dot quack now let's run the app so we were able to add the wooden duck that's the power of inheritance that we inherited all the things that we wanted and now we have to like so suddenly we have to add this uh, new method to duck it's called void fly flap 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 okay so now uh, all ducks can fly okay so this is my uh, third to do Now, since all of the subclasses of this superclass duck will fly, we go inside main.java and add another to do. see the ducks fly and what will happen wooden duck can fly rubber duck can fly actually the sequence in which we are going to tell this is that we had this amazing amazing result from inheritance 
mallard ducks can fly red head ducks can fly and wooden ducks will also start flying rubber ducks will also start flying should they fly no so we just added one method in the duck class and now all of the ducks have started flying and rubber ducks are also flying wooden ducks are also flying that is the point where inheritance fails because what does inheritance promise code reuse but in all the ducks that don't fly we have to go in and implement their own fly methods <coughs> and this architecture does not ensure that the programmer the programmer thinks about the methods that might change behavior for example if we already have so many ducks and we are add, wanted to add the fly behavior we had to go through this thought process that okay I'm adding this fly behavior like this fly method and now I'll have to check each and every duck whether it flies or not and then in all the ducks that don't fly I'll have to implement the fly method individually so that's a whole lot of code the fall of inheritance <coughs> so we have four steps we go inside our to-do okay we have to do one implement a wooden duck we have to do two make the wooden duck quack we have to do three make the ducks fly and we have to do four see the ducks fly the fall of inheritance we are not talking about like I'm not giving you this session right now what I'm doing is showing you how to massage your code in a way so that you can give an amazing session so in reverse order start commenting out the code go to to do for comment this code out to do to comment this code out to do three <coughs> comment this code out <coughs> to do one comment this code out what will happen code is in front of the attendee the student even if he can't see what you are typing on the projector he will still be able to follow you he won't have to copy code in fact he won't even have to type code make the chunks really small like not longer than three lines at a time and make it in such a way that once they like comment this out they see what they wrote in the code it's equivalent to writing some code <coughs> so we have our we have our first branch complete we have our first branch complete the first session the first uh, phase of the session in which I showed you how uh, showed people how inheritance fell down wooden ducks started to fly rubber ducks started to fly and then we had to go in and implement them and this architecture is not enforcing us to implement the fly and quack behavior individually 
this is where we will leave this branch so do we git checkout immediately no we have to make a commit branch ready <coughs> the branch is ready for consumption yeah we also have to ensure that the main function is running actually then we have to like now this is where we will find our branch like whenever someone checks out this branch he checks out branch 1 whatever the name of the branch is 01 sim u duck prolog <coughs> and then we just have to direct them to the to do tab and make them find this to do one uh, actually uh, scope based default change list current file project project uh, let's not auto scroll let's not group by package uh, let's not group by module uh, like if there is a way to not group at all that would be amazing Okay, uh, let's just, this is as good as it gets, but it would have been amazing if we had a list uh, of 1, 2, 3, 4, but people can find it from here. So, how do we go, like, we tell them to check out this branch, go to step 1 implement the wooden duck how to implement the wooden duck control slash wooden duck implemented what did you write make them speak the code out loud so that at least the code has been inside their mind like let them realize what they wrote and what they wrote what does it do that is very important like when you are switching to this form of a hands-on where people don't actually write all the code themselves it's much more in depth in direction of uh, the concepts that you're covering then you still have to make them realize that they wrote a bunch of code and that bunch of code did something a bunch of something and that is important <coughs> so uh, once again uh, we want to leave this clean if we press commit no changes detected that is how we are going to leave it here now we will check out the master branch okay kit check out master okay we are back to our initial state from where we started and actually uh, in the initial state like uh, okay let's leave that there are no to do's and if you get check out zero one whatever it was uh, let's get branch zero one simu duck prologue so get check out zero one simu duck prologue switched to branch and then you can see that 
all of the to do's are here <coughs> okay so from here we need to check out another branch okay we will continue our code like there are two ways uh, we can continue our code from uh, where we started the master branch or we could continue our code from this ending point the ending point of this session so what's the ending point of this session first let's check out a new uh, yeah so ending point of this session is from where we like last ended like uh, where we wrote everything so we'll we are in the simu duck prologue so s we want the simu duck prologue to stay in this state now i want to change the state of the code base and i want to do that in another branch and that will be the starting point for the next phase of events and that's that would be let's try interfaces okay get check out 0 to <coughs> interfaces to the rescue will it work because the branch does not exist you have to put a b tag over here <coughs> to switch to a new branch see the branch does not exist unless you make a new commit it just switched to a new branch and this got updated sorry whatever this got updated it took some time I don't know why so as soon as we switch to a new branch so let's do a git status Get status no, get branch yeah. git log actually okay so we can see that master was in this commit interfaces to the rescue is in this commit and now we are going to make some commits and <coughs> move forward with the interfaces to the rescue so head and interfaces to the rescue will keep moving forward and the simu duck prologue will be left over here okay this is this commit is this state of the app this checkpoint we will leave simu duck prologue in this checkpoint and head and zero to interfaces to the rescue will now move forward as we create new commits for example the first thing that we need to do is uncomment everything that we commented okay so let's go to to do uh, uncomment this this to do gone implement kar diya to to do hata denge na So we have cleaned the thing. What's the issue with you guy? Okay, yeah, everything is good. We have a functioning main. <coughs> everything is running. All
all are swimming and flying and doing whatever they want to do hmm so the next thing that we need to do is create a new commit Let's use this to commit, okay. This was the button. So, what we did, we changed all of this to this, all of this to this, all of this to this. Cleaned to do's. Commit. Commit. So, what happened? When we do git log, as you can see, master stayed at the same commit number as it was. Like we need to scroll it further. See. Master remained at the same, the first <coughs> thing simu duck prologue stayed at this checkpoint and head and interface to the rescue moved on to the next checkpoint like this commit number which is this state the state which we are in so now we'll have to implement this further the way we are going to implement this further is we're going to use interfaces so what are interfaces we'll make a new java class it will be an interface it will be a quackable we'll create a new java class it will be an interface it will be a flyable <coughs> and then we will do our first step is remove quack and fly from the to do one remove quack and fly from the <coughs> duck class so how do we remove them we comment them out because at the end we'll have to uncomment this okay because till now we were dealing with code addition but how do you manage code deletion this this to do does not add anything it removes the quack and fly from the duck class so we have to comment this out for now <coughs> now the duck class doesn't doesn't have a quack or a fly uh, method so when we go to main dot java anything that used to quack and fly will show an error what we need to do is we need to go to mallard duck implements quackable flyable okay we do uh, that's not step two first we made the objects like the classes 
and that's a different thing we went into duck to do one was remove the quack and fly behavior to do two was to see the functions fail to do zero to see the functions fail uh, step three would be to implement the flyable and quackable interfaces <coughs> and avoid fly <coughs> and to do four would be to implement the quackable interface to do four implement the quackable interface and then to do five will be to Okay. To do five is implement the at this point of time I'm internalizing that I'll be uh, telling them what an interface is the way it's and it's a contract and introducing them to the concept of interfaces and uh, at the same time I'm uh, uh, coding about uh, uh, like the sequence so my fifth step is I'll implement the quackable and flyable interfaces in the Mallard duck class uh, how to do that uh, we'll just use the alt enter and implement the methods uh, fly will be south I am flying flap flap quack also something similar and stupid s out i am quack whatever okay and now we'll just literally we'll just copy this whole thing control C then we'll go inside redhead duck and then to do zero six implement the flyable and quackable interfaces in the red head duck I'll just paste this 
implements <coughs> workable viable So we learnt how to deal with adding new lines, we learnt how to deal with removing the old lines. This will impose a challenge because it's changing the existing line. Can you get it? Like it's about changing the existing line. So like this is going to be a tough challenge, like we can either uh, duplicate it, uh, we'll come up with something, uh, don't worry. <coughs> Okay, we have wooden duck and rubber duck left. Okay. We are at five, right? To do zero six implement flyable and quackable in wooden duck uh, wooden duck doesn't fly either so uh, no flaps from me and then uh, we'll go into rubber duck and implements quackable flyable Actually, a rubber duck squeaks. Okay. The rubber duck cannot fly but it can squeak instead of quacking so uh, that's a separate uh, quack behavior then and now we're done but it was to do seven right uh, we had to do six and we have to do zero seven implement flyable and Quackable in rubber duck. Yes. <coughs> so, like, notice how these to dos are really allowing you to navigate much faster in the code like it's allowing you to navigate in the code much faster like you say you tell them that uh, go to the to do's list uh, select to do number zero two and see where we have come and you will be in sync it allows the speaker to be in sync with the audience so these are the kinds of ways in which you can fully leverage the features of this amazing IDE to deliver an amazing hands-on definitely it uh, does assume that you have like everyone has IntelliJ idea set up and they have cloned 
this repository or had it uh, <coughs> copied to their personal computers via a pen drive or something like that anything uh, but now when you go to main it runs and that is what really matters that it runs so what did we do actually like what was this step for how did interfaces rescue the program interfaces were able to rescue the programmer because the programmer was forced to make a decision for each and every duck class for each and every duck class the programmer was forced to make a decision he had to implement but we could have done this in a much better way uh, this could have been an abstract class public abstract class duck implements flyable and quackable and inside all those other we should okay <coughs> we can get rid of this like this is a much better solution because if we make the duck implement it it forces the programmer if we don't make the duck class implement it, it does not force the programmer really. So what we need to do is we need to uh, make the abstract class duck implements flyable and quackable. So once you make it abstract, okay. <coughs> so what did we do? We will have to duplicate this and we will have to comment this out okay and <coughs> okay so if we comment this out and comment this in it was the previous state if we comment this out and comment this in it is the newer state so what we are doing is dealing with change and the to do's will change I guess uh, to do one is remove quack and fly from the duck class we did it to do three is write the flyable interface we did it to do 4 is write the quackable interface we did it as well to do 5 is implement the quackable and flyable interface in the mallard duck class so just suppose that we uh, didn't have this then this would show Qu class mallard duck must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method fly in flyable and when you press alt enter you have implement methods and fly and quack both need to be implemented or uh, you need to uh, declare it abstract which means it can't be instantiated <coughs> so now whenever someone is inheriting from the duck class it must implement those two interfaces which duck has promised to implement okay I'll teach this tomorrow so I won't go into pattern over here what we are learning is how to handle the changes in the code like when it okay so the one to do that will change is uh, like not exactly uh, we will have to change the serial numbers of the to do's 
let's uh, internalize this once again okay let's do the whole thing again let's show you how to do this okay uh, there's this command when you mess up it changes the entire thing it to the last commit what was the last commit that we made it was clean the to do's so we are back from the beginning trying to implement interfaces to the rescue branch so in interfaces to the rescue branch what we are going to do is uh, step one was create two files like it's step zero those files will be created automatically one was quackable <coughs> another was flyable We need uh, the first to do would be to implement flyable. Okay. To do one. No, first to do will be to uh, remove the quack and fly from the m uh, duck class. Okay, so to do zero one remove quack and quack and fly from the duck class. Okay, we got this second to do would be to implement the quackable and flyable interfaces to do zero to implement the flyable interface and how do we implement this void fly then we move on to quackable to do zero three implement the quackable interface how do we implement this void quack The third thing is make duck okay implement will confuse the audience so we will use write <coughs> okay flyable uh, now we will move on to duck and this is important to do zero four make the duck class implement the flyable and quackable interfaces कैसे करेंगे तो यहाँ पे इस लाइन को एडिट करना वेन एवर वी आर एडिटिंग अ लाइन विल लीव अ कमेंटेड आउट वर्जन ऑफ द ओल्ड लाइन एंड ओके मेक इट एप्स
as soon as we made this abstract anything that extends the duck class will have error yes abstract class duck implements quackable flyable duck that's to do four okay now to do five what's the to do five the fifth step is to go to mallard duck to do zero five look at what happened to mallard duck so as soon as the programmer extended duck it started showing an error what was the error you have to implement the methods fly and quack <coughs> okay implement the methods it needs it will be south flap this one would be quack. <sighs> so now the programmer is really forced to override these methods everywhere red hat duck you'll see the same error this was to do five to do six to do zero six implement the red head head duck Red head duck needs some help as well. <coughs> Even rubber duck will need to implement these methods. Does a rubber duck fly? No, can fly not does the rubber duck quack no it squeaks <coughs> so as soon as we uh, made the duck an abstract class and implemented those uh, two interfaces over there you need to give it a access specifier kind of uh. <coughs> and now so look at the amount of work that we had to do like it works it really works to do six uh, expand this one to do seven was rubber ducks to do zero seven help the rubber ducks and 
and what was uh, with the wooden duck we changed this to public right control D control Then there is this to do eight to do zero eight wooden duck needs some help as well. Mix let's make it a sad selfie. Ha ah. to do zero eight a quack needs a public specifier and then implement the fly method or something like that ah, we can delete this to do error I got error the card in <coughs> and then uh, as soon as we are done with everything to do 9 is run the main again to do zero 9 run the main again so the sheer inefficiency of this that as soon as you implemented this we had to go in and write whole functions again and again and again the sheer inefficiency of this way of doing things is what makes this approach inefficient all the promises that we had in object oriented programming about code reuse are lost we were promised that we could reuse our code but we couldn't we couldn't reuse our code we when we tried to use inheritance our code just didn't work and to make our code work we had to use interfaces and now when we are using interfaces we are not able to reuse our code we have to write code again and again and by the way copy and paste control C plus control V is not code reuse that's the whole point you have to write less code and that is where the interface approach fails interface rescued us but it charged us a lot <coughs> so finally run the main again Where is nine? Okay. Interface rescued us, but it charged us a lot. The solution. Uh, let's start with to do 9 do we have to do anything no go to to do 8 comment this line out uncomment this line and we're done okay let's go to to do 7 Uncomment comment this all out. 
let's go to to do six comment the changes out let's go to to do five comment the changes out to do four uncomment this comment this to do three comment this whole thing out to do two comment this whole thing out to do one uncomment this out let's run the main app if it runs we have it <coughs> so we were forced to implement each and every method that's the point of interfaces let's uh, move on to the final stage which is the strategy pattern is this the state that we want our code in just suppose someone told us to follow the to do step by step like to do one okay remove quack and fly to do two write the flyable interface to do three write the quackable interface to do four four where is it yeah make the duck class implement the flyable and quackable interfaces make it abstract to do five look at what happened to mallard duck implement the method it needs six 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 seven eight we do those things in that sequence <coughs> Check the quack method and implement fly it. Let's move to nine. when you run the app it runs right so <coughs> this is a state in which we want you can see step one step two step three step four step five step six step seven step eight this really helps in finding the code next step commit we have to commit this branch ready we'll commit this as branch ready commit commit now what will be the output of our git log see we clean the to do's the head and interfaces to the rescue are at our latest commit now what we need to do we need to add another branch 03 have a strategy that is what we will name it one moment let me check if the file size is okay okay we are good so what we will do is get checkout b and name the new branch 03 
strategy is the stuff and uh, press enter it switched to a new branch do a git log now what will happen is that head and 03 will keep on moving forward and this interfaces to the rescue will stay here so we will do one more commit after cleaning the to do so let's uh, go through the to do's first to do is remove quack and fly good done second make the class implement the flyable and quackable interfaces uh, uh, shift in it control uh, shift in it to write the flyable interface control ha shift delete to do three control ha shift delete to do four kar liye hai to do five uh, yeah override this to do six to do 7 to do 8 to do 9 just to check everything run main dot menu if everything's okay uh, we have our working condition let's uh, do a commit called to do's clean to do's clean commit commit okay what we need to do next is instead of having flyable and quackable interfaces we need to have a another interface called fly behavior we need to have another interface called quack behavior and we need to have another interf uh, okay so it's not a class it's an interface fly behavior and quack behavior is also interface now fly behavior will have a fly method quack behavior will have a quack method so what we did was that to do one to do one write a fly behavior interface to do to write a quack behavior interface 
okay <sighs> now to do three is a new class called fly with wings yes implements fly behavior implement the methods mm. flap 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 and then a new class fly no way implements fly behavior s out there is no way I can fly uh, did we write a to do no. fly behavior was to do one quack behavior was to do two fly with wings was to do three to do three implement a fly behavior called fly with wings and there is a to do for to do for implement a fly behavior fly no way similarly we'll have different quack behaviors as like <coughs> squeak quack mute quack 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 these are the three uh, classes that will implement like we implemented a fly behavior interface fly no way fly with wings then uh, quack behavior we are at how many to do's at this point four one two three four fifth is to do zero five implement a quack behavior <coughs> implement a quack behavior hmm. implement a quack behavior implement a quack behavior for ducks that can quack and its uh, behavior will be okay we have to implement it now implements quack behavior implement the actual methods and उसके बाद फिर टू डू जीरो सिक्स इम्प्लीमेंट क्वैक बी है फॉर Duckies that squeak. Squeak. 
Geschichte. <coughs> now we have uh, now wooden duck click mute quack bug here again. Like we'll have to implement six. We have a seventh to do in mute quack. to do zero seven implement a mute quack implement a mute quack uh, for silent quack quack behavior for silent duckies mute quack implements quack behavior sound So, यह हो गया हम लोगों का साथ to do. Now we have to go to duck and zero eight power of composition make duck receive a quack behavior and a fly behavior जब कोड ब्लॉक बहुत लाइक द चेंजेस आर ह्यूज इनफ यू कैन लाइक कमेंट आउट द एंटायर कोड ब्लॉक सो दैट पीपल कैन कंपेयर द डिफरेंस हियर वी विल हैव अ फ्लाई बिहेवियर फ्लाई बिहेवियर क्वैक बिहेवियर क्वैक बिहेवियर डक like duck no longer implements quackable and flyable okay duck ka constructor mein there will be a fly behavior fly behavior quack behavior quack behavior and it will assign this dot fly behavior equal to fly behavior this dot quack behavior is equal to quack behavior <coughs> and to do zero nine make the duck use the fly behavior and quack behavior uh, how can we do about this like we can make the duck use the fly behavior and quack behavior in its 
own fly method fly method fly behavior dot fly and we can have its own quack method and that will be quack behavior dot quack and that's all <laughs> go to main dot java no that's not all actually now go to mallard duck Oof. constructor okay so how we will do this we will delete all this like we will comment this all out and instead of this we will have like super new fly with wings and quack behavior will be mallard ducks do quack so new quack quack and that is how we have to do in each and every <coughs> duck so we have mallard we have red head duck where we have to again delete this whole thing implement this this is to do 11 implement uh, implement fly behavior or uh, okay redhead duck constructor redhead duck constructor super new fly with wings new quack quack see we don't have to override anything now how less is the amount of code that we have to write again we have to go to rubber duck and then de delete the whole thing and then uh, to do 12 implement the rubber duck with relevant behaviors implement the rubber duck constructor fly no way S quack behavior squeak quack done we have wooden duck
to do 13 implement the wooden with its relevant behaviors uh, comment this out and uh, We don't need to because we know the behavior, right? We can also use it on the fly, giving the proper. Does a wooden duck fly? No. Does a wooden duck quack? No. <coughs> अब मेन में जाना है और इसको रन करना है सो <coughs> कोड so, काम किया डेफिनेटली काम किया क्या फायदा हुआ लाइक द थिंग दैट वे यूजिंग राइट नाउ इज द बेस्ट द बेस्ट सॉल्यूशन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम क्यों क्यों हम लोग फ्लाइएबल और क्वेकेबल को इंटरफेस को नहीं यूज कर सकते थे लाइक वी रोट मोर स्टेप्स राइट वी हैव मोर फाइल्स द स्टेप्स दैट वी रोट वर टू करेक्ट आवर मिस्टेक्स step 14 to do 14 look ma it runs okay so Now let's uh, convert it to the state that we want this in. So we'll go to, like we'll extend all the to dos. Step 14 से शुरू करते हैं. इसमें कुछ नहीं किया गया है. Step 13 पे आते हैं. So this was removed. So we will add this. This was added. So we will remove this. अब step 12 पे आते हैं दिस वॉज रिमूव्ड वी विल एड दिस दिस वॉज एडेड वी विल रिमूव दिस स्टेप 11 पे आते हैं दिस वॉज रिमूव्ड वी विल एड दिस दिस वॉज एडेड वी विल रिमूव दिस स्टेप 10 पे आते हैं दिस वॉज रिमूव्ड वी विल एड दिस दिस वॉज एडेड We will remove this. Step nine पे आते हैं. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Uh, this entire thing was added, so we will remove this. And uh, there was no removal. Step eight पे आते हैं. So this entire thing was added, and the above thing was removed. so we will like first let's uh put this below this okay we will add this and we will remove ye wala duck okay now see अंदर वाला जो कमेंटेड आउट है 
can you see you'll have to uncomment it twice to actually make it visible this one 8 pi now we have to move to step 07 aha everything was added just remove it step 06 remove it step 05 4 Step one. Ah, we're done. Kaise pata? Go to main, run it. If it runs, this is the state we want our branch to be in. So, how do you present it? Tell them to go to step 1, do step 1, go to step 2, do step 2, go to step 3, perform step 3 go to step 4 perform step 4 <sighs> what I'm going to do is that it has already been two hours within two hours I made the entire project so uh, <coughs> it was supposed to be a two hour long session but with this workflow we will have like we will be able to take this entire session within 45 minutes or so and still come out with students people understanding the whole point and not wasting their time in typing the thing copying the thing and stuff like that so that is what is the most important thing about this workflow I have designed this with that in mind to do's ka sahi use karke, branches ka sahi use karke. So let's give it a commit. Branch ready. Now let's see a git log, okay? Let's clear the terminal up. see the master is still at the initial branch simu duck prologue is at the commit branch interfaces to the rescue is at the 0 2 branch head is at the last branch ready strategy is the stuff now we have our app okay all the changes have been committed to the local repository how do you actually share these branches to your github repository suppose I uh, used VCS uh, import into version control share project on github uh, Duck origin uh, app for uh, strategy pattern tutorial. Let's share it. And 
let's see it in the github repository we can only see the branch 3 not the other branches okay because whenever you share it android studio will take your head and uh, like it will push it what do we need to do this is the way get branch a okay <coughs> get push u origin master and then get push u origin zero zero one dash sim u duck dash pro log Interfaces to the rescue. Now, when we refresh the page, we have all the branches. Simu Duck Prologue, Interfaces to the Rescue, Strategies, the Stuff, and Master. When you press four branches, you can see the entire thing. Uh, when you see all branches, uh, Active Issues Projects, Insights. Yeah, in insights you will have this uh, commits graph. No. Yeah, see, master went into simu duck prologue. Simu duck prologue went into interactions to the rescue. Went into strategy is this. so it will show the flow of the commits, and each dot is a commit. and this is how you duck it okay so we are done two hours continuous coding uh, it's it's difficult it's not easy but it is what allows you to extend a wonderful experience to the people and this universe has its way like the more you give the more you will receive if those uh, 45 60 maybe one hour 30 minutes whatever it takes are good for the people who have come for that session that session rocks and 
like I will give this session at least at 10-15 places if you uh, get to those 10-15 places and you calculate the amount of time that I, I will save and the amount of clarity that I will be able to provide then this effort seems to be worth it this was a really simple application but we could realize how we can handle editing like when you have to change a line how we can handle deletion and how we can handle addition when we add we simply comment things out in the reverse order wherever we deleted instead of deleting we commented them out and then in the rever reverse order when we saw something commented out we then commented them in when we were editing we had one uncomment like we duplicated that specific line or that specific block commented that out and wrote the new stuff when going backwards we commented out the new stuff and commented in the old stuff and that is how we achieved this repository which uh, if they clone all the branches are downloaded implicitly it will not show if you use the git branch command but it will definitely show if you use the git branch dash a command and then you can check out these branches and ask the people to just go to the to do's and do whatever has been done there and you can simultaneously explain the actual concept this is how at DSC heritage we have been uh, like this is what we have been working on we uh, we we will be uh, like tomorrow is the moment of truth we will uh, see how better the actual experience was for the students because uh, in a room full of uh, 60 70 students uh, it's really difficult for the backbenchers to see what's on the project and these are the problems that uh, they have difficulty in typing the typing speed is a bit slow they can't see the board they got lost I am at step 7 they like even a 2 minute delay moves you from step 9 to step 7 like the like my head is at step 9 and they are at step 7 so they have a sequential path to catch up plus uh, they know exactly where in the code they have to navigate they don't have to deal with finding where I am working at the moment these are some of the problems that we have tried to solve by this like massaging of the entire repository what this requires from us is not just these two hours of effort you will have to code the entire thing once you will have to internalize the steps that you are taking without making mistakes like code the entire thing without making mistakes that's the point you have to reach at then internalize the entire flow how you will really flow through the uh, session mark out checkpoints because one of our the strategy is the stuff that branch got 14 to do's so mark out checkpoints to check out as branches and make them logical for this it was really logical that first is pure inheritance second is interfaces and then the third is the strategy pattern define a logical index like the hierarchy and then move into code and like follow the steps that we have been able to follow I'll just upload the entire 2 hour 10-15 minutes of this to YouTube and I hope like you will be able to move forward and backward and be able to actually uh, follow what we did and benefit from it maybe someday we will be able to make a really beautiful version of this video but right now it's just my webcam and my IDE and 
my keyboard. Ravish signing off.